Okay, now uh, primarily we have studied the theory of work and we will be solving certain problems now. In the previous section, um, I told you the formula of the work and now time has come to do some practice over the formula that we studied. So the problem number one, there's an expression of the force that I'm giving you, 10 plus 0.5x. X is the displacement of the body in the uh, right hand side, in the positive direction of X axis. So the question is something like this, the block, there's a block which is kept and this is the mean position suppose, it is kept at the mean position. Now there is some force which is being applied to it, the force is such that force is 10 plus 0.5x, the x is actually the displacement that this block will have when uh, it is moved. So presently when it is at the mean position it is having zero displacement. So the force that will be applied on this black block will be 10. When it will have a displacement of 1, the force that would be applied would be 10.5 likewise. So you have to calculate what will be the amount of work done when the displacement is from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2. Now all you have to do is use the simple formula for work done. Like I'll do it for you and you just watch the next one you'll do it on your own. The work done is simply f dot s. This is all you got to do. Now in this case you, you, you'll expand this always fs cos theta. Unless you have the Cartesian form always you'll have to write it as fs cos theta. Now you'll have to look for theta. What is theta? Displacement is in the positive x axis and I have also said the force is also in the positive x direction. So the angle between displacement and force is zero. So life is easy now because f dot s this cos theta it would be one. So what you have is work is simply force into displacement but the problem is you don't have one single value of force then you'll have to go for integration. The small amount of work done would be force into small amount of displacement. Force is 10 plus 0.5x. This is the force. Small amount of displacement will be dx. So the work in total work would be summation of these small work. That would be summation of 10 plus 0.5x into dx. Now put the limit of integration. The limit I have said displacement is from 0 to 2. So limit will be 0 to 2. This is an easy integration. When we work this out, we will get it as 21. I trust you with this. You will do it on your own and you get 21. You actually, you just have to do it orally and see whether you are getting 21 or not. So this is, this is how you will use a simple formula of integration and calculate the damn work done. Okay, now the next one. In this problem, now I'll, I'll just tell you the problem, I'll, I'll not help you much, but you'll have to work these problems on your own. The problem is like this, there's a body, mass I give you as 20 kg, there's some force applied on it, force I give you as 5 Newton. Now, you've got to calculate the work that this force will do on this during the first one second. So calculate the work done for 0 to 1 second by this force. The force is constant 5 newtons so it shouldn't be a problem for you. Now how do you start? You start from the formula of the work. That is how you start. That is from where you start. Work is f vector dot s vector. You will always and always start from here and start thinking from here. Force into displacement into cos theta. The theta is the angle between force and displacement. Now here in this case the displacement will be in the direction of the force because I have taken the force to be horizontal. So this is a very simple easy kind of situation. The so theta will be 0 cos theta will be 1. Fine. So work is force into displacement. Good. 
Now force is constant? Yes, force is constant. So all you have to do is find what is the displacement caused by this goddamn force. So displacement caused by this goddamn force can be easily calculated using the formula of displacement which is S is equal to ut plus half at squared. Now initial velocity is zero, so this thing is zero. Acceleration you can find out, force is given, mass is given and time is also given. 1, 0 to 1 second for the first second I asked you. So you can get the displacement and you just got to multiply this and you get the damn answer. The answer of this is 558 five, Joule. Keep everything in SI unit, you get the answer in SI unit. So work it out on your own. Just please don't watch and listen. Move your hand, get your bones straight and do some substantial work on the paper. Only then you'll learn. So get to this answer. I'm trusting you with this. You, you find the answer and see if you're getting 5 by 8.